What is an annual meeting? If you're new to running a business, this can be one of the common questions you have. Especially if you're the only person in the business, it's a business of one, I'm often asked the question, do I still have to hold an annual meeting? My name is Andrew Ayers. I'm a lawyer who works with families and business owners to protect their legacies through planning. In the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you some basics about annual meetings for your company that will help you stay compliant with your state laws and avoid getting hit with fees or penalties because you forgot to do something as simple as hold an annual meeting. Now, if you haven't been in business long, or maybe you've never been the owner of a business, you may be curious, what is an annual meeting? An annual meeting is a yearly meeting of the shareholders of a company. Every company is required to hold one, and the place and the time of the meeting are going to be defined in your company's bylaws. So even if it's a one-person business, or if there's three owners, or if there's ten, or if it's a large public company, there has to be an annual meeting. Sometimes, if you read in the newspaper, it's called a general meeting, an annual stockholder meeting, or an annual shareholder meeting. There are four things that your meeting will normally address. You'll review the company's annual report. There'll be elections, if needed, for your board of directors. You'll review new business projects. And if you're in the position to do so, you'll review and de declare dividends for your shareholders. As part of the annual meeting, you'll want to prepare an annual report. It will include information about the financial health of your company. Things like a statement from the CEO or the chair of your board of directors about how business is going. Maybe a discussion of the financial matters concerning the shareholders. Hopefully you've prepared financial statements with your accountant, your income statement, your balance sheet, etc. And you want to make sure you have those ready. And then finally you'll want to review the past year and the business information so that the shareholders have a good idea of where the business is and hopefully they can see your vision for going forward. The annual meeting and your annual report can have a lot of detail that's of interest to the shareholders. When you hear about big companies holding their meetings, people like Apple and Google and Berkshire Hathaway, they're actually news events. They can end up on the front page of the paper. But you don't need to throw an elaborate party for your business. You don't need to rent out a big coliseum. You don't need to rent out an auditorium. You just need to make sure that your annual meeting happens. So, if your business has never done an annual meeting before, Go up to your address bar and go to andrewmayers.com. When you get there, click on the Schedule a Consultation button. That will take you directly to my personal calendar, and we can set up a time to talk about your annual meeting requirements and to make sure that your business is following the law. An annual meeting is a small pebble that many business owners unnecessarily trip over that causes big headaches down the road. There's no need to take that trip if you follow a few simple steps, which we can talk about in our legal strategy session. I look forward to hearing from you.